Hello, good evening. Uh, today being Sunday, um, I thought like I'll talk about something which is very important in today's world. As America is having a huge political issue on racism and there is also a political issue which is happening in Tamil Nadu about the father and the son, Jairaj and Phoenix, being killed in the police custody, like how Floyd in America died in police custody. America was naming them to be as racism. We don't know what to name it in Tamil Nadu, but it's police which is incapable of handling these kind of issues. So I, th- I wanted to touch something which is similar to this. I'm going to talk about an organization which is in America, very famous, and we all need to know about it, which is very much linked with Chennai, on the colonial past and which is something to do with the topic I touched earlier on, racism which came to America by slavery. This organization was started in the year 1701 with the name as Collegiate School. It is the third oldest educational organization in the world which is called the Educational Temple of Modern Era. This is one organization which has a five-day newspaper print for the last 200 plus years from 28th of January 1798 till today it has five day newspaper printed every day for its uh, for its schools and colleges it's an it's a it's an educational institution it has a secret society called as the skulls and bones wherein you can find the most prestigious alumni from this secret society of skulls and bones of this educational organization and only 15 members are allowed to join this secret society on a year-on-year basis and few of the people whom I'm going to name are Josh Bush, the senior, John Kerry who is the foreign secretary in um, Obama's uh, presidency and William Howard. It has a freshman uh, party, that's the newcomers coming into the college. It has a freshman party, like how we see in the movie Harry Potter. And n number of spies and CIA agents come from this American organization. Which educational institution am I talking about? It's the Yale University. Yes, you heard it right. It's the Yale University. What has this got to do with Chennai? Okay, let's talk about why was it named as Yale University? Because a person who donated a lot at the start of this university was Elihu Yale, who was born on 5th of April, 1649 for a couple, David Yale and Ursula Knight, who were originally from Welsh in England, but settled in Boston, Massachusetts. Yale is a very complicated character who has a very dark history and his history is connected to Chennai. 
he joined as a writer in today's term it is a clerk in the english government functionary in the east india company he joined this uh, organization as a clerk and within a 10 year timeline he moved from clerk to a junior merchant from a junior merchant to a senior merchant from a senior merchant to a council member to a council member to the head of councils within a span of 7 years from 1673 to 1684 and he became the senior most council of saint george fort in chennai yes it's the same saint george fort today we see all our mlas going and sitting every day in and day out so he was the head of the saint george fort from 8th of august 1684 to 26th of january 1685 and this person became the governor of madras presidency from saint george fort under the colonial british from 1687 to 1692 this person was involved in slave trade he was the person who was a pioneer in slave trade from lot of countries example from india maldives gold coast in western africa sumatra and in 1678 to 1680 he got married to catherine hampery in the oldest church in india that is the saint mary's church which is there in the complex of the saint george fort and saint george fort during the 191680s was said to be the most in accommodatious place in the world it means the place which is most inconvenient and causing lot of discomfort to the organization and to the people around it why el started slavery from chennai in 1687 and the slave trade was so good from chennai or so highly uh, a lot of people was traded from chennai on slavery that he used small kids who were aged 7 and 8 with collars around them holding them like how we hold dogs today and he called them as domesticated wild animals who are small dark skinned boys who are of the age 7 or 8 so this is how he called all the people who are in and around chennai and this is how he domesticated them and sold them on slavery so you will have to understand how slavery was there in india luckily what happened the nayaks who were ruling chennai and who had leased this land to the british empire had an pact with the british saying that you should not be doing slave trade and that was accepted and it was made as an act and then from then on slave trade was reduced in chennai at one point of time every ship had hundreds and hundreds of slaves going out of chennai to saint helena which is in the atlantic ocean today wherein we can see minimum of 665 slave trades happened between el and the slave trade organizations today america is saying that 
we are not going to support slavery or racism but the biggest organizations in the world today are the educational organizations when we say the ivy leagues harvard yale brown university columbia university princeton university dartmouth college all these universities were erected out of the money which came out of slave trade when the seventh president of america john quincy adams said that we are going to stop slave trade and he was an advocate against slavery his vice president was john cladwell colagan who was the seventh vice president of usa also it was from the year 1782 that slave trade was stopped by john quincy adams but this vice president john cladwell colagan did not recognize and allow john quincy adams to remove the name yale from the yale university because they wanted to have the slavery and the colonial past in their educational organizations historical records who advocates racism and who is against slavery is a question which we should raise from the educational organizations politics and education has a great amount of fact and relationships does america really wants racism to go can universities like yale have a different name these questions will be unanswered for a pretty long time thank you all take care bye jehan vaadha tamilam